Hi friends, today we will discuss in this short video about mechanism of acid and base balancing in our body and basic approach to uh, ABG interpretation. As we all know, this topic is a very large subject to discuss. I try to make this large topic to a form of a small capsule. I hope everyone will understand this topic very well by the end of this video. Let's see the video. Basics of Acid Base Balance and ABG Interpretation Before the ABG Interpretation, we should understand about acid and base balancing and how the body is maintained in the neutrality. This pH neutralization is very important for our normal body function. Here, an important part of regulating the chemical balance or homeostasis of body fluid is regulating their acidity or alkalinity, which is measured as pH. The pH reflects the higher than concentration of the body solution. Here, the chemical balancing. The chemical balancing is done by regulating their acidity or alkalinity in our body fluid, which is measured as pH. The pH depends on the hydrogen ion concentration in our body fluid. Let's see how the body is maintaining the neutrality. We have several body systems including buffers, the respiratory system and renal system are actively involved in maintaining the narrow pH range and it is very necessary for optimal function. The lungs and kidneys help to maintain a normal pH by either excreting or retaining acid and base. See here buffers. Buffers means a substance that by its presence in the solution increases the amount of acid or alkali to produce a unit change in the pH. Here we have two types of buffers, physiological buffers and chemical buffers. So for example, in alkalosis, the nature of the blood is alkaline. So we need acid for neutralizing this alkali, right? So buffer will start works that time. How it is working? It will increase the level of acid in the blood to neutralize this alkalosis. The same way around, in the, in, in the case of uh, acidosis, the nature of the blood is acidotic. We need alkali to neutralize the pH. So the buffer will rise the level of uh, alkali to neutralize this pH. The next systems are respiratory system and the renal system. How they are working? They are maintaining a normal pH while either excreting or retaining acids and base. In the case of acidosis, the kidney will start to excrete acid, will remove the acid, extra acid from the fluid and retain the base. So if removing the acid and retaining the base, it will be, uh, this base will go and neutralize the acid. Okay, the, in the lungs, it will hyperventilate the patient and remove the all carbon dioxide from the body. Thus, the body will uh, reduce the production of carbonic acid if the acid level is going down and the kidney will uh, increase the base retention. Thus, the body will maintain the pH, normal pH. In the case of alkalosis, the bicarb level in the blood is high. So the kidney will excrete the bicarb, excrete the base and retain the acid. We need more acid to neutralize this uh, alkalosis. Okay, the kidney will retain the acid and excrete the bicarb. And the, in, the, in the case of lung, it will hypoventilate the patient. So the carbon dioxide retention in the, uh, in the blood will be high. This carbon dioxide will produce carbonic acid. This acid will go and uh, make neutralizing the alkalosis. See here, these are the normal values uh, in ABG. pH 7.35 to 7.45. PCO2 it is 35 to 45. And the PO2 is uh, 72 to 104. Bicarb it is 22 to 30. 
and the O2 saturation is 95.95 uh, 95 to 100. Anion gap it is 12 plus or minus 4, and character by curve is plus 2 to minus 2. Uh, we will see next response to acidosis and alkalosis how the body is reacting. Mechanisms which protect the body against life-threatening changes in hydrogen ion concentration are first one buffer buffering system in the body fluid and the second one respiratory responses and the third renal responses and the fourth intracellular shifts of ions. This is the defensive mechanism of the body against the pH shift. The first line of defense against pH shift is chemical buffer system. The chemical buffers are able to react immediately within milliseconds and it is the first line defensive mechanism. See here, it is, uh, first one is bicarbonate buffer system and buff phosphate buffer system and protein buffer system. These are the chemical buffer system. And the second line defense is physiological buffers. It is a uh, respiratory mechanism by CO2 excretion and the renal mechanism it's H plus excretion. Let's go for some details. Phosphate buffer system. In this, if the H plus ion concentration in, is high in the blood, acidosis, uh, that's the time this sodium hydrophosphate so disodium phosphate is binding with H plus ion and forming sodium dihydrophosphate plus uh, sodium and vice versa. Uh, it is the most important in uh, it is most important in the intracellular system. Phosphate concentrations are higher inside the cell and kidney tubules. Protein buffer system. It behaves as a buffer in both plasma and cells. Most important intracellular buffer and it is the most plentiful buffer in the body. Hemoglobin is the most important protein buffer in the body. Bicarbonate buffer system. It predominates in extracellular fluid. We can see here bicarbonate is reacting with H plus ion and forming uh, carbonic acid. This system is most important because the concentration of both components can be regulated, acid and alkali. If we need acid for neutralizing the pH, it is coming mostly from the respiratory system by carbonic acid. If we need bicarbonate for neutralizing the pH, it is coming from the renal system. Next, we will see respiratory response. Overall compensatory response is hyperventilation. In response to increased CO2 or H plus ions. In case of uh, respiratory acidosis, we can see high CO2 and the pH is low. This pH is low because of higher level of uh, carbonic acid in the blood. If there is high uh, concentration of CO2 in the blood, it will uh, uh, the CO2 will react with water and forming carbonic acid. That the blood will become acidotic. That's the time the brain will give stimulation to the lungs to hyperventilate the patient to remove the CO2 in higher level. So if there is uh, CO2 is going out and getting a normal range, the carbonic acid production will be going down. So we can get normal pH. The same way here is hypoventilation in response to decreased CO2 or H plus ion. If there is uh, Respiratory alkalosis, we can see low CO2 and uh, low H plus ion. If there is low H plus ions, the pH value will be high. The blood uh, nature will be alkalosis. We can see, we can say alkalosis, respiratory alkalosis. That means uh, the carbonic acid level is going down. If there is low CO2, there is carbonic acid formation will be going down. So we need more CO2 to form carbonic acid. So the brain will give stimulation to the lungs to hypoventilate retention, the CO2 retention. If there is hypoventilation, the CO2 will be retained and the formation of carbonic acid will be high. So we, need, we will get acid to neutralize this alkalosis. We will maintain the 
normal pH value. Next one, renal response. Renal response, the kidney compensate for acid and base imbalance within 24 hours and is responsible for long term control. To acidosis, the kidney will retain bicarbonate ions and eliminate hydrogen ions. So if there is a hydrogen ion excretion and a bicarbonate retention, the bicarbonate level will be going high in the blood and the hydrogen ion will be going down. To alkalosis, the kidney will eliminate more bicarbonate and retain hydrogen ions. To compensate the alkalosis, we need more acid. So, the kidney will eliminate the bicarbonate and retain the acid. This acid will go and uh, neutralize this alkalosis. Let's see a diagram here. Uh, see here the respiratory alkalosis. If there is more CO2, it is, by, it is going, to, uh, going and reacting with water and forming carbonic acid. And carbonic anhydrase this is a catalyst for this reaction. See here, if the pH is going down, uh, the respiratory center in the, in the center in the brain will stimulate the brain, will give signal to the brain to hyperventilate. If there is hyperventilation, the CO2, more CO2 will be going out. So, if there is low CO2, low carbonic acid. The same way here, the kidney, what he will do? Uh, if there is low pH, the kidney will... Uh, increase the rate of H plus ion secretion. If there is more acid, to, uh, more acid in the blood, we need to remove the acid from the blood. So the kidney will remove the acid from the blood and it will retain the bicarbonate. The next one, intracellular shifts of ion. As a result of these shifts, we will get uh, hyperkalemia and hypokalemia. It will be more clear here. See, in case of acidosis, compensatory response like this, the H plus ion will move into the cell and this K plus ion will go in out from the cell to the bloodstream to maintain the electrical neutrality. Here, H plus ion buffer intracellularly and result hyperkalemia because too much uh, potassium ions will be coming out from the cell to the bloodstream. In case of alkalosis, compensatory response is like this. Uh, we need more acid in the bloodstream to neutralize this alkalosis. So the H plus ions are coming out from the cell and at the same time the potassium will go into the cell to maintain the electrical neutrality. As a result, tendency to correct alkalosis and hypokalemia because the potassium ions will move into the cell into the cells. So the bloodstream will be uh, showing low potassium hypokalemia let's move to the abg interpretation before that i would recommend to keep some points in mind from the previous slides like uh, whenever ph changes in the blood body will try to neutralize by buffer mechanism okay the second point is compensation mechanism if we need to neutralize an acid we need to use alkali the same way if we need to neutralize alkali we need to use acid it is a universal law considering human body if there is a respiratory acidosis body will compensate with metabolic alkalosis likewise if there is a respiratory alkalosis the body will compensate with metabolic acidosis so as a result of this mechanism the pH value will remain normal that is the ultimate aim let's go to the steps for interpretation of ABG first one no normal values of pH okay PCO2 and bicarb the normal value as we discussed before pH it is 7.35 to 7.45 and PCO2 it is 35 to 45 and bicarb it is 22 to 30. 
Look at the patient's ABG to determine what's the abnormal high or low. Okay, we need to go to the numerics. The third one correlate the abnormal values of PCO2 and bicarb to abnormality of pH. So let's look at the pH first, whether it is acidosis or alkalosis. And the second one correlate with the abnormal values of PCO2 and bicarb. So we'll diagnose whether it is a respiratory acidosis or metabolic acidosis or respiratory alkalosis or metabolic alkalosis like that. Name the disorder, and cause and source of any compensation. Look at the diagram here. The pH is normal and everything normal, no abnormalities. And pH, if it is low, it is acidemia. And look at the PCO2. If high PCO2, it is respiratory acidosis. And if it is uh, low bicarb, it is metabolic acidosis. Okay, the respiratory acidosis is compensating with metabolic alkalosis, as I explained before. Respiratory acidosis, it is acid, and it is metabolic alkalosis, it is alkaline to get it neutralized. Here, metabolic acidosis is neutralized with respiratory alkalosis. This is a compensatory response. Here, this pH is high, alkalemia, look at the PCO2, here it is low, respiratory alkalosis and the compensatory response here, metabolic acidosis. Here, it is high bicarb and metabolic alkalosis and compensating with respiratory acidosis. This is a summary of acid-based abnormalities. Let's see here acid base status pH CO2 compared to normal and bicarbonate compared to normal. If it is normal, pH normal, CO2 normal, uh, bicarbonate is normal, normal ABG. Okay, the second one here, uncompensated respiratory acidosis. The pH, it is decreased because of the acidosis and CO2, it is increased respiratory and the bicarb it is normal it is the kidney is not com, uh, compensated I mean the bicarb still remain normal the body did not compensate that's why so as a result it is still decreased pH uh, respiratory acidosis let's see here compensated respiratory acidosis it is compensated pH remains normal as a result of this compensation uh, CO2, it is increased, respiratory acidosis. The bicarb, it is increased. Why? We need to neutralize the acid with base. The kidney will retain the uh, bicarb. So the bicarbonate uh, amount, it is high. Then the bicarbonate will go and neutralize the acid. As a result of this, we got the pH value normal. Here, uncompensated respiratory alkalosis. It is uncompensated respiratory. So, the pH value, it is increased. A respiratory al a this alkalosis. CO2 decreased. Respiratory. And the bicarb, it is normal. It is not compensated. So, if it is compensated respiratory alkalosis, the pH, pH value, it is normal. Because of the compensation. The CO2, it is still remains uh, decreased because of the respiratory alkalosis. The bicarb here, it is de decreased. So, if there is respiratory alkalosis, the base value, the, the alkaline, it is the bicarbonate in the blood, it is high. So, we need to excrete. The kidney will help the body to excrete the bicarbonate. So, the bicarbonate... Uh, value uh, the bicarbonate in the blood it is getting decreased so we need we, can, we need we will form more acid to neutralize the alkalosis uncompensated metabolic acidosis uncompensated the pH value is still decreased acidosis and the CO2 it is normal 
and the bicarb it is decreased here. Okay, that is why the metabolic acidosis. The pH value decreased, that's why acidosis. CO2 did not compensate, the lungs did not compensate. The bicarb it is decreased, that is that's why the diagnosis metabolic acidosis and compensate. If it is compensated metabolic acidosis, we will see normal pH value. Okay, the CO2 decreased. It is compensated, and the, C the bicarbonate here it is decreased. The bicarbonate it is decreased. That's why it is metabolic, and the pH value is decreased. Uh, pH value it is getting normal because of the respiratory compensation. The CO2 it is getting low. So if the CO2 is getting low, the carbonic acid production will go down. So the acid level in the blood will be going down. And the, uh, the bicarbonate will be retained and but bicarbonate will go and neutralize the acid. Uncompensated metabolic alkalosis. Uncompensated, that's why the pH still remain increased and the CO2 it is not compensated still the same normal and bicarbonate it is increased that's why it's metabolic alkalosis and compensated and if it is in the compensated state metabolic alkalosis the pH value remains normal discompensated here and the CO2 it is increased because of the compensation uh, response and uh, the um, by car here it is increased because metabolic alkalosis compensate time to wind up I hope everyone now have some idea about acid-base balancing mechanism in our body and interpretation of ABG if you like my classes subscribe my channel and share the videos thank you all